Welcome to Crazy Towns Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Ding. Uh, TNT. Yo. Have you heard about the Kia Boys? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. I think I warned you about this. Yeah, you brought it up and I forgot. At a point in time. Yeah, dude. So I, uh, it came to my attention that this has become a big bad phenomenon yes and i watched a little video i didn't realize these kids is out here just wiling in the streets with these kias like yeah. underage kids stealing kias and just driving them at like 80 miles an hour through neighborhoods and wrecking them all over the place and because stuff. of how easy it is to hotwire essentially a yeah kia. i guess they from i don't I, like, how I, do they do it Jones? they use yeah. like a usb dongle and just yep. jam it into the ignition or something yep. and it somehow starts the car yep. i was like one how did you figure that out I don't know, man. But yeah, like, and they're know. just like, I guess Kias and Hondas, Hondas, Hyundai's, Hyundai's. Yeah, um, and it's certain models for like a ten-year period or whatever. Maybe that's why my insurance rates went up because I have a Kia, and maybe it's one of the models that's affected. Have you put a dongle in it yet? Do you have a dongle hole? A dongle hole? Yeah. <laughs> You try, have you tried to hot wire your own Kia? No, though? I don't want I'm to asking. hot wire my own Kia. Okay. It's an old Kia. Ain't nobody hot wiring it. Yeah, yeah. You still got a keyhole, too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got yeah, one of the yeah, keyhole yeah. Kias. I've keyhole been, I've, Kias. I've been a push to start boy for so long now that I, I don't even remember. You're like, ew. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about my car getting stolen. I was sitting in my car uh, waiting for something to happen. I was just, just sitting waiting for something to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, okay. I'll keep it. I'll keep it above. My my job. I was early for my job, and it, it, the doors were still locked. Um, so I'm sitting in the parking lot, and I'm just like chilling. And I'm like, all right. I'm like, man, what if somebody was to come up to me and try to steal my car right now? Okay. Like, what would I do? I don't have a gun in the car, so I'd be like, oh, you know what? I have a push to start, jo Joni. I could just jump out of the car and be like oh you got it and run and run away and it'd be like oh i can't and you just start to be like give me your keys and i'll be like nope <laughs> no i'll be like they're in the ignition that's what i was that's what i came up this happened a while ago and i was like they're, they're in the ignition so how are you gonna steal my keys you know i lie and then i run lie and run or i'm Excuse sorry me, mr carjacker <laughs> keys are ignition uh, yeah and this run, run. <laughs> and this book it that was i made a running yeah yeah movement. i saw it look good if yeah. they would have been here, man. Have you ever stolen a car, Jonas? No. Have you? <laughs> no. No. You never went joyriding as a kid? No, I've had Still... my car stolen though. Oh yeah, I remember your car stolen. We we yeah, we've talked about that before. Yeah. You never joyrided as a kid? Never like took your dad's car around the block once? No. Really? No, never. You know what? Honestly, you me either. Yeah, I was gonna say no. <laughs> I have family who have stolen cars before. Um, and joyride it as like. Are know. they still in prison now for it? No, honestly, they've made a life for themselves. They have nice. family and children, and you know everybody grows up. But. Yeah, I guess so. Unless you grow up in jail from stealing cars. <laughs> <laughs> you can't grow up in jail if you do it when you're a kid. That's the part. I mean, you're allowed to be an asshole kid. Are you? I wholeheartedly agree. Is that all teenagers are assholes? I mean, I was selfish, but I don't think I was an a hole. Probably, I was respectful. <laughs> When did you start drinking? How old were you when you started drinking? Uh, I had my first drink, Jonas. I was buying alcohol at age 16. I, would... I got... Okay. So I had a bad experience when I was 16. and got really drunk. Okay. And then I didn't really drink at all until I was like 20-something. Okay. And well, we won't even get into the uh, use of narcotics, but come on. I've so, never used those. Oh, okay. So look, I'm just gonna say it's like if you were doing stuff like that as a kid, and I just remember like some of the stuff we would do is just like I don't know, man, like knocking over mailboxes and I stuff didn't like. Do any of that I stuff? I know you didn't do it, but a lot of people did, and you being the one outlier does not. It's not gonna fix the fact that all teenagers I are was assholes. A Karen. <laughs> you were okay. not. You were not. I did. I, I did things. I just didn't do crimes. Fam. <laughs> Damn. The first place. Look, 
<laughs> you not out me about like, anything. I'm not going to out you. Thank the, you. But the first place I had contact with a lot of things, Jonas, <laughs> happened in your under your watchful eye. Whoa, under my watchful eye. You were eye. older than me. <laughs> <laughs> I was your elder. You, you, respected, were... <laughs> you respected me and wanted to follow in my footsteps. I have thrown up in many a toilet from alcohol that you have purchased when I was not old enough to drink Excuse it. me. I don't know what you're talking about. Plus you... the seven-year statute on that is over. <laughs> you're older than me. <laughs> you, you would have been 20 and a half <laughs> if I ever got you alcohol I'm... when you... I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Is that you're trying to shatter my persona over here? I am a good Christian man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying is that most teenagers are jerks. They try oh, to get yeah, they try to get get away with stuff that they're not supposed to do because the biggest thing when you're a teenager. And look, I'm trying to say it's like beating up your school teacher, not cool. But as a kid. This type of stuff is to be expected, and I can't necessarily fault them for it because, you know. And now you can get internet famous for anything, so people are like, yo, if I punch my teacher, I'm going to be internet famous. Like, <sighs> I mean, I don't know why you gave a, I don't know why you gave the individual that voice, but they're we're going gonna... <laughs> to. Cool. I punch my teacher in the face. It'll make me internet famous. I'll give him, I mean, I'll give it all to him then. Me, my man, bro, I'm on my teacher in the face. Don't get him down with him. Um, yeah, dude, like. That's just like that's just the dude, man. Like I know school teachers. Like what if like one of my homies got punched in the face by some brat ass kid because he wanted to be TikTok famous? I would be upset. Uh, yeah, yeah. If my friend yeah. got assaulted at school because yeah. some asshole wanted to be internet famous. But hey, look, man. You know, prefrontal cortex, blah blah blah. You know, psychology, blah blah blah. You know, mental damage. Yeah, yeah. child abuse, trans, trans, trans rights. You know, all of it. All of that, man. So you know, you can't, what do you expect? I don't know. I I figured that some kids are going to be like that. There's still bad parents out there. This stuff was happening when we were kids. I've yeah. definitely heard of teachers. We just getting didn't hit. get to see it all on the internet. That part, like we, because the ish looks wild when you see it. You're like, oh, I could do that. I could drive a car 80 miles an hour, hanging out the window, driving down the like with, with guns, <laughs> like, running from the cops. Like that sounds like great time. I've definitely seen videos of kids running from the cops with guns, with switches. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Good. You're just going to jail. And people wonder why I don't have any kids. Um, I don't think people wonder that anymore. Because you can tell by the the movement of the country, and also you're like, oh, I should never have these kids. Yeah, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that you know the uh, the right has been trying to revoke some of the the rights, even though you know. We yeah, don't get I into mean, that. I like. It was interesting. Because, Nobody's having kids because back when I was younger, you know, people would say, "Oh, you don't you don't have any kids, you don't want to have kids, or whatever." And I would like even being like a twenty something, a young twenty something kid. Besides the fact, be like, you got to have somebody to have sex with to have a child. Mm -hmm. Ha ha. Um, you'd be like, this ain't no world to bring a kid into. And that wasn't like 2000. This ain't no world. It's never a world to bring a kid into. And then into. 2022, I'm like, this really ain't a world ain't to bring a kid world. into, man. Like, <laughs> like, whoever decided to have a kid during COVID lost their goddamn mind. Yeah. Like, if there's a pandemic, you're like, no, I'm going to have a baby. Like, <laughs> excuse you? What the? Why? <laughs> Well, I mean, if you were like, hey, I want to have a baby when the pandemic's going on or the people that had their baby like nine months as the pandemic started. Yeah, like they're like, they're like well, we're trapped at home. We might as well just have a baby. Like, oh. Yeah, like because you want to take yeah. it out in the in the pandemic as a baby to so we can catch COVID and stuff. Like, yeah. why is that? You don't know what the world's going to look like after this pandemic. And you're like, oh, let's – what if we all go into a famine? And then you're like, oh, I've got a baby who's starving to death now. Like, I mean <laughs> – can you imagine, like, it's still, even to this day, the amount of people that broke up from that is just, it's just crazy to me, man. Like, and, and that just brings home the point, man. It's like why people are tending towards the not getting into, not marrying, not having children. I don't want a, I don't want a family of my own, Jonas. Yeah, and you make a really good point when you I'm said, a, I think it was the last episode, you're like, blah, 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 oh, I don't have any kids. I'll be in a nursing home. So it's like, if you if you don't have any kids... And you fully know that eventually you're going to be in a nursing home. Why should you save any money? Yeah. Because you have nothing to pass on to. I mean, you, you have no one to pass it on to. Yeah. So you might as well just blow it all because you got to give it to the government when you go on Medicaid anyway. Yep. And but, then 
But either way, you're going on Medicaid. So. Either way, you're going on Medicaid, or you die suddenly, right? Or yeah, exactly. Or I mean, ward of the state, man. And yep. you know what I'm gonna do when I'm in the nursing home? As long as I got use of these hands, play video games all day, every day. <laughs> all them games I got off Xbox Live that I ain't never got to play for free. This guy, mother effer, playing games. Hopefully, you still got them hands, brother. And that's all I, dude. Put it on easy the, and get it moved. I, I'll play. Will I'll play it all <laughs> on easy? I'll be like, I'll play Minecraft. I'll start building the city when I'm seven. 70 till I'm oh. die and just keep working on the same city. Jesus Telling them man. nurses like I shit myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let me pause my game. <laughs> yeah. Go to the dashboard. They're like Jonas, put down the controller so we can wipe you. Nope. <laughs> I shit myself. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> just, this just, being person? <laughs> just being an asshole. But <laughs> But would you be that guy? I would not. All but right. no, like I've and I don't have any kids either, man. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna that's gonna happen to me eventually. Like, so why have all this money? Like, you've spoken like this for a long time, and Can't it's figure. really just starting to hit me now that I've had some family situations come up and yeah. be like, Why am I saving my money? Can't take it with you, man. And it, yeah, like I see people who do it to pass it on to their family, right? Yes. Like, I want to make sure my kids are set up. I wanna blah yeah. blah 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like what why? Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com. Jonas getting real existential in here. I Jonas. like it. I saw his third eye awaken. <laughs> TNT. Yep.